And I want to talk a little bit about the Christmas carol or Christmas hymn, as I like to call it, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Now, the account of the angels announcing Jesus' birth it never mentions them singing. It talks about them praising God. So once upon a time, I actually looked up the lyrics and I found out that Charles Wesley, who wrote the hymn that we call, or the Christmas carol that we call, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, he actually started with, Hark how all the welkin rings. And welkin is some word that means skies or heavens. But it was actually changed in 1758 by George Whitfield, uh, the famous preacher, to Hark the Herald Angels Sing. The lyrics to this uh, song are wonderful. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. And I, um, I love the, one of the lines, veiled in flesh the Godhead see, hail the incarnate deity. Pleased is man with men to appear, Jesus our Emmanuel here. Those are the original lyrics. The fact that Jesus is not just a human being, he is God who became man. And that is called in the Bible a great mystery. But it is essential if redemption is to take place. Because when we consider what it says in Psalm 49, that no man can by any means redeem his brother, to use the NIV's uh, phrasing, no payment is ever enough. And sin is so costly that no human being has the ability to pay that price. And then when we look at Isaiah 59, after talking about how sinful we are and how it has separated us from God, it says in, in the middle of verse 15, it says that God looked and he was displeased that there was no man. Therefore, his own arm brought salvation and he became the intercessor. And then it uses very unique language of him putting on warrior's clothing. And what an incredible picture of the incarnation that God puts on flesh as warrior's clothing. And all of that is pointing to the fact that sin, the redemption uh, of humans from sin, was indeed a fight. And that we needed God to become our warrior because only he has the ability and the authority to deal with sin. So when I think of uh, Christmas time, I do think of the incarnation. And as an aside or a tangent, it is one of the most redeeming parts of A Charlie Brown Christmas because they sing this song and it points us to this glorious, glorious truth.